morning. My name is Jacob Folger and I'm an artist sculptor and I'm going to show you today how to make a miniature fairy house and garden. And um, I'm going to start with this ball of clay here, just rolling a ball, and then into a noodle. I got this brainstorm in the middle of the night, kind of like halfway in a dream, halfway out. I was going to do a turtle this morning, but um, I'm good. that's going to have to wait. This is, I've got to get to this. It's going crazy with me and I can't stop thinking about it. So I'm making a ring here and uh, this is where um, the moss is going to go is, is in here. I'm just forming that, just pinching it. You definitely want to knead the clay um, before you use it to get to kind of mix all the ingredients and they call it conditioning the clay, polymer clay. I'm using Sculpey 3, which is a, a brand that I always use. I, I really like it. It's just very easy to work with. Right now I'm just putting the bottom in. I'm just laying in bits of clay and kind of smoothing it in. against the, the sides and kind of blending it into the sides there like that. So I'm going to have like a, like a little wall here. The moss will go in here and then we'll put a house um, up here in, in a tree. We can uh, actually start, start with the tree. I have a little bit of clay over here. And uh, I'm going to roll it to add a so it's kind of like a cone shape like that. See? A little, a little bit longer. So it'll probably sit like this. And then what I'm going to do is take a, a pair of scissors and just snip it um, so that there's three roots like that. I'm going to do the same thing at the top so there's three branches. And then we'll just spread these out like that and just set it up here. Just spread these branches out a little bit. Yeah, I was I just, you know, laying sort of half awake, just thinking about this little thing. I don't know why. So that happens sometimes. And then I just gotta I gotta get to it when I uh, get up. So I'm gonna take a piece of this is craft wire here. I just wanna strengthen the stock of this tree so I can put the foliage on top. I'm just kinda cut a length with a pair of scissors. You can actually cut it with scissors. This is a uh, 16 gauge uh, craft wire. And you can usually get that at, like a bead store or something like that. I'm just gonna stick it right down the uh, center of the uh, tree here. And that will, uh, that will strengthen it up. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, a few balls of clay. So I'm gonna roll like, I don't know how many. We'll just try and see how that will work. Um, I'm gonna roll uh, several uh, balls about the same size. I'm just rolling them with my fingers. This will be for the foliage of the tree. Okay, I'm going to take now I'm going to take these balls and I'm just going to uh, assemble them like this, kind of like, uh, like a tortoise shell design. You might have seen this in one of my other videos. And I'm just going to now form this to be the shape that I want, but I don't want to squish it. I want, I want to be able to see the little, uh, um, separations of the balls like that so it looks like you know something that might be foliage 
and I'm going to take my scissors and cut this off now right about there and just stick this over the top of it like that yeah it looks pretty good Now I'm going to take a little uh, a little bit of clay here and I'm going to roll a ball and then a noodle like that. And I'm going to squeeze it. If you see how I'm holding my fingers, I've got my thumb and forefinger here on each side and then I'm going to take my thumb and forefinger on the each other side and when I squeeze it, it will make like a little block. Like that. Okay. You see, it's kind of got corners like a like it might have uh, for a house. And then um, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of clay. I'm going to make the roof a roll a ball, uh, roll a noodle like this. And then I'm going to squeeze it to flatten it out a little bit. <clears throat> And I'm going to put it on top of the house like that. I just fold it over so it looks like, you know, like a roof. Let's see if that's about the right size. It, it seems like it. Okay, and then I'm going to pour it um, a little bit of uh, a hole here for the window. <clears throat> and I'm going to turn the brush on the side and just uh, roll it back and forth for the door like that. I'm going to take a little bit of clay here and put it, put it on the side for the chimney right there on the roof. So it looks like this. Um, put right beside the uh, right beside the tree. I can uh, I kind of squish the door there a little bit, so I'm gonna just um, fix that here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my finger on the left side of this tree here like this. I just I have it come out a little bit maybe so the tree's going that way and the house is going this way a little bit. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, I'm just um, kind of straightening this up a little bit, make it a little bit more uniform the walls of the uh, little garden and now I'll take a just a small paintbrush like this here and I'm going to use something called uh, Pearl X pigments I use it a lot for my finishes and the reason why I'm using black clay is because the Pearl X pigments looks looks really good on the black clay so let's I'll show you that So I'm cover it and uh, I'm just take a little bit on the end of my brush. I'm going to dab it on the table here just so it doesn't go everywhere. And I'm going to put it on the foliage of the tree. It's uh, pretty green. This is uh, spring green. You can uh, wipe your brush off on like a rag or something to get the excess off. This color is, uh, uh, let's see, antique bronze, and you do the same thing, stab it on the, uh, on the table.
I'm going to put that on the roof of the house as well, and then I'm going to do the uh, roof of the house itself in uh, violet. Uh, they call it reflex violet. I'm going to do this. You can just support the uh, house so it doesn't move around with your finger like I'm doing here. Like that. Wipe the brush off. Get a little bit of, uh, this is uh, reflex violet. I often refer to it as purple. Dab the excess off on the table or, you know, you can do it on a washcloth or something like that. Wipe it off. And, and I think I'm going to do uh, bronze on the, uh, on this, on the uh, garden uh, walls in, in bottom. So. I am I am trying to achieve kind of an antique finish. You could put the bronze on much heavier if you wanted to. But for me, I just like the kind of antique with the black shining through. Now you would bake this uh, <clears throat> for if you're using Sculpey 3, because I'm sure other polymer clays might be different as far as uh, cooking time, it might be different, I'm not sure, but um, cook it at 275 degrees per quarter inch of uh, 50 minutes per quarter inch of mass. So if the thickest portion of this is maybe a half an inch, then you would cook it for half an hour bake it for half an hour, 275 degrees in a household oven. Okay, I have some uh, preserved moss here. This is sheet moss, and I actually bought this from my local florist. And uh, I just cut a piece. You can cut it just with regular scissors, and uh, we'll just lay it in here. You can also lay it in wet. Um, it's okay to wet it for a little bit if you want to try to get it to fit better. And there you go. A little uh, miniature fairy garden with house and tree and uh, preserved moss. A nice little green lawn there. Um, if you like this kind of content, uh, <clears throat> I do a lot of videos along these lines. Please subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you uh, if you could, please um, rate the video and uh, comment. Uh, if you um, have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. If you have an idea for a video that you'd like to see, leave that in the comment section as well. And I thank you for watching, and I thank you for your support. Have a great day.